Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Coming at you today from beautiful Verona in Italy and I am actually on holidays for about 10 days with my husband here in Italy. And at first I was planning to do a vlog spanning the whole sort of trip. I was like, oh, I'm gonna kind of vlog a little bit every day and then just put it all together in one vlog. But then I realized I don't really want to vlog my entire vacation because it's not that it's not really a vacation for me. I'm always thinking about like, oh, I should film this. Is it gonna take maybe one or two days? I'm gonna vlog. Like I said, I'm at the Airbnb right now that we rented in Verona. So Verona is famous because that is the setting of Shakespeare's um, Romeo and Juliet. So we are just making our breakfast right now. I'm on the there's a little inner courtyard. Really long, like it goes all the way back there. There's a kitchen here. There's like a little seating area. It's a nice Airbnb. It's super clean. It's very spacious, and there's like another long way because it's like a inner courtyard. So the house kind of goes around, and then this is the bathroom back here, master bedroom back here. Really comfortable bed actually, really nice big comfortable bed. So yeah, I just had a shower, I got up and my husband went to get bread. We want to go out and taste the amazing Italian food so we're not gonna be like cooking except for breakfast in the morning. So we're just making some eggs. Look at this, we have some, this, what is this, Karen? Coppa? Coppa. Uh, I can't show you. Then we have Parma, fresh Parma, prosciutto di Parma. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Some tea. I made myself some egg and then look at this. Oh my God, I love pistachio. That's like one of my favorite things. Pistachio yogurt. We are now walking into the main part of Verona. So our Airbnb, you can see there's this bridge there. It's just right basically on the other side of the bridge. So you, you cross the bridge and then you're in beautiful Verona. There's this river here. Look, there seem to be some river rafters on this little river old buildings over there. We are walking along right here on this river walk. So now we are at the Ponte Pietra. Isn't that beautiful on this bridge? Found a nice piazza. Oh! Right behind us. Oh my god, you see all the historic buildings. It's quite a few Tourists, but I can only imagine how crazy it must be in the full tourist season. I mean, now it's like off season, but it's so, so beautiful here. You see behind me? This is the Piazza della Erbe. We actually came here in the, in the evening. I have some pictures up on my Instagram in the favorites. It's, it was really nice here in the evening time. So we are walking in like sort of the main area of the old town shopping district over here. and. This is like October, there's still so many people here. I can only imagine how crowded this would be in the sort of peak tourist season in, in, um, in the summer. I think this is Casa di Giulietta. There's uh, everyone's taking pictures of that. You can pay to go up there, but that's supposed to be Juliet's balcony where Romeo climbed up. Sort of anticlimactic, it literally is just a house with a balcony and tons of people here. So apparently, I was just listening to a tour guide over there, apparently this balcony is fake. Like apparently this was not actually Juliet's balcony. They said that Juliet's balcony looked more like this, but since it's not as spectacular, they ended up building this on to make it look more like romantic. It feels like a little bit of a farce. We are stopping for a little drink. I'm having a caipirinha, my husband's having some beer and you always get these little snacks with it. Let me try it, it actually looks really good. Mm. And then I think we're gonna pick out a place to eat lunch and just casually have some lunch and then stroll around some more. So this is the Piazza Bra, which is the one of the bigger piazzas here. Yeah, I love those houses, it's like restaurants everywhere. Uh, and then this big coliseum. We're not gonna go inside. I don't know. I just, I just feel like I've seen so many of these things, and you have to pay admission to everything. So I'm just like, meh. I'm not someone who's like, I don't need to go see every thing like I just like experiencing the city I just like walking around and there's this fortress this giant castle here this is the bridge from that fortress you can see down this is the fortress finally lunch I think it's what time is it? it's already 2 p.m. we haven't had lunch yet I don't want to just get crap every meal counts in Italy I don't want to just buy like whatever like a sandwich or something I want to actually get good food here this is the Porta Borsari. 
Isn't that cool? It's like this door or gate to the old city. So there's a sign here and apparently this was built by the Romans in for between 40 and 50 BC. Isn't that crazy? Like you're just walking through this new city and then you come to this ancient um, thing that was 40, 50 before Christ. We're in this little restaurant where they hand make all these amazing noodles. These are all tortellinis. We're gonna have lunch here. It's just a tiny little, little shop. There's only like two tables. Having the assorted. So I get one of each. There's eight different kinds. Here they make, this is I guess for the filling, the pumpkin. The assorted ravioli with the butter and the parmesan. And my husband has it with the ravioli. That looks so good. You guys, that was seriously probably the best pasta I've ever had in my life. And it's a little sort of takeout place. I mean, you can eat in or take out. It's called La Bottega de la Gina. It's also good. If you're ever in Verona, highly recommend this place for like a quick bite to eat, a quick lunch. And now we're gonna go to the AS98 flagship store, which is one of my absolute favorite um, shoe brands. I have three pairs of shoe by, shoes by this brand. It's an Italian um, shoe company. They also make bags and belts and stuff like that. And their flagship store is here in Verona. We're just on the way now back to our um, Airbnb across the street and there is actually a gelateria right beside our Airbnb and it's actually really highly rated so we are gonna get some gelati and then go back to our place and chill. These are the flavors. This one is my husband's. He's got Three different flavors, we get two. Mm, I think I have to taste it. Mm, that's yeah. Ooh. And I got pistachio, and this one is licorice. I, I've never tried licorice. So we are back at the Airbnb now. I'm having my pistachio. I got pistachio licorice. I actually really like black licorice. It looks kind of like brown, kind of like chocolate. It's good, but it's not. It's not like so, so strong. I actually really like it. We have dinner reservations at 8 p.m. tonight, so it is now 4.30. So I wanted to show you guys quickly the, um, the big purchase that I made today. One of the things that I really wanted to buy when I was here in Italy is a leather backpack. I have this backpack. I don't think I've ever showed this to you guys. This is actually like a little Herschel backpack. Honestly, this is like my most used purse because I find it so practical when you're like on the go to just like have a little backpack, your hands are free, it fits like a lot of stuff. But this looks very sort of like travel-y, you know, it doesn't look very fancy. So I went to the AS98 flagship store. So I have three pairs of shoes by AS98. It's an Italian brand. It's an expensive brand. I mean, it's not like designer prices, not like Gucci or Chanel, but it's not cheap. I'll tell you guys the price just because, you know, some people, they just want to know how much things cost and they, you know, they might, they might want to purchase this bag. So this bag was 399 euros. So about 400 euros. So the, the front looks like this. There's actually like so many compartments. It's very, very a spacious backpack. One huge compartment here in the front. I think you could probably even stick a laptop in here. So if you're wanting to go traveling, like this will be a great travel backpack. There's another pocket in here. The lining, I like that the lining is not black because then when you open the bag, it's much easier to find things. Two more pockets there. So you can put your um, phone in there or just like little things in there. When the backpack becomes like stuffed full, like let's say this is like stuffed full of things, then this like snaps onto here so that it kind of keeps its shape. If you just want to get a few things, there's another like second huge compartment. Like I said, this, I, ha I don't have my laptop with me so I couldn't test it, but it's huge. So I'm almost positive that my laptop will fit in there. If you have like the 13 inch or something, you can probably even slide it in here. There's like a backpack slide. I have like my makeup in there and it's just another really big compartment. I have my wallet and stuff. And the back looks like this with just adjustable straps. There's another little secret pocket back here, which is right against your back when you're wearing this. So this would be great for putting in like um, expensive things that if you don't want things to get stolen, you could put like your passport in here, like money or whatever, so that it's gonna be totally safe because you're gonna be wearing this like against you. So you're on the go and you just wanna quickly grab it. There's a little like side handle. So you could technically carry it like as a little bag as well. I don't think I'll ever do that, but maybe that's convenient if it's like, 
you just quickly need to grab your backpack then you have like a little side handle there to carry it like i said this is really really nice quality leather it's all handmade in Italy. Right now it's still like fairly boxy, but the thing is with leather, you know how it is like the more you use it, the softer it gets. It looks very chic. Like it almost looks like a purse. It doesn't look very backpacky, you know what I mean? We had a little bit of a chill. We had something to drink. We both had a little bit of a nap. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my husband to be done um, getting ready. And then we are gonna go out for dinner. We're going out to this restaurant called Muramare. I found it through like recommendations and stuff and it's supposed to be a really really good seafood restaurant. We aren't actually gonna walk there. It's about a 20 minute walk and I'm wearing by the way those shoes by that same brand I'm gonna show you. They actually had this exact model still in the store. I think I actually bought these last season but they are still selling them. This silver hardware on the back and these like strappy things here you see. They're really really cool. It's my Backpack and you see how that totally matches it has the same Zipper and everything like it has the zipper and the black so it totally goes so we just ordered our um, White wine. It's a really nice white wine. We have it in a ice bucket over there super fancy And then we have this little starter. I don't know. I guess it, comes with it. it looks like a little pizza. little pizza <laughs> Oh my god, you guys look at this. We ordered the mixed fish platter with all the stuff on it oh, Wow, that looks amazing I cannot wait to dig into this. This looks like an absolute feast. So we just finished our amazing dinner at the Muramare. Highly recommend it if you want to eat seafood. It's kind of off the main tourist beat, so there's mostly locals in there. I think we walked about 20 minutes down, but we were walking super fast. So now we're gonna walk a little bit more slowly, so we'll probably have another half an hour or something until we get home. But it's nice, like, Verona at night. I think it's actually really beautiful. And we're in the sort of main shopping area. I actually really like walking through these areas at night when it's just everything's closed. You know, you can just window shop. Pavon. Burberry. Uh -huh. Oh my god, those fucking leggings are awesome. <gasps> Shoes are good. I just love these Italian stores. Oh my god, look at these shoes. They're so beautiful. So I am going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can check out my vlog playlist for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.